Alright, so, um, I'm back with the problem solving in Python series. Uh, I haven't done this for a while, but I'm gonna do another problem. Two problems today in Python. These are like medium level problems. Um, yeah. So let's, let, let me explain the problem. So I have a string, any length, even or odd, and I want to get the the middle element or the two middle elements. So let's say the string's even. Let's say it has six. So like six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or eight. like six elements. I want to find the two middle elements, or if it's odd, of course the one middle element. Element. So let's start. Let's start this right now. Okay. So. We're going to start with the list. Let's submit L. Now I can put anything in this L. You know, it's a list. Let's put 1, 2, 0, uh, 5. Uh, we can do 12. I don't know. We can do 5, 12, another 5, 6, maybe 7. Maybe 1, maybe 10, or 12, whatever. And then let's do 16. There we go. That's all we need. But anyways, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 elements in this list. So. um, Let's actually make it even for this one. Because... Odd's gonna be easier. Let's do the hard one first. Okay. So, let's write our if and else statement. So, uh, let, let's first find out how do we get the middle element. Well, I can immediately see right here that if I, it, it, like, we need the index right here. So, this is zero in index. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the, those are the positions. And I, as you, as you can see, we know that 5 and 6 are the middle elements. I think. 3, 4, 5. and 6, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 and 6 are our middle elements by mm -hmm. okay so four two three four five mm -hmm. all right five and six are the middle elements that so this is going to be a position zero one two three four five zero one two three four five so in this case our position is the same as the actual value. Let's actually change this up real quick. So make it a little bit. All right, six and nine is our middle thing. So it's the positions are five and six. Now, five and six, right? And then we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, right? So if we go over here and do our if statement, right here and we say if and of course we want the length of the list right we want the length how how many elements are here so this will count one two three four it'll count the actual thing which we have 12 mm -hmm. so we have len the variable is l let's go ahead and put l and now we want to do this if statement for even so this is the even loop well, no, not really loop, no. Not loop, the if and else statement. So this is the even program. And then if we do the, if we actually use the modulus operator, if we think about it, that will make it so that the modulus operator, if we use that modulus, um, if you don't know the basics, just go to the uh, channel in the description below. But if you know basically modulus, will take out any decimal point. So, 
if the length of this and if we do a modulus right here divided by two that's an even and then we want two equal signs otherwise if I put one equal sign it's like assigning the thing and then zero let me put a colon that means that if this is even and I divide by two let's say this is four four divided by two is two Am I right? And there's no remainder. So the modulus operator gives remainder. So if the remainder is zero, it's confirming that it's even. So using that logic, let's move on. So let's create, we're going to create another variable. What this is going to do is it's going to do what we want right now. So what we want is the, like the list. If we in do this list in integer division two, Right, we're gonna get this right here, this value right here. Am I right? The p we're using the index. It's not like 14 divided by that. No, it's not that. By using this index, you know, somehow we will find that. Right. So let's say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Integer division two will bring us six. Right. Zero, one two three four five six right here we get that so we take another variable let's make it x right let's say it's x and we have x right here and let's say we just named a variable x you can name it whatever you want and we're doing it taking the length of that and of course you want nope we want equal sign right there no nope. len of L and then we want to introduce integer division 2 don't use regular division because it'll give the floating point floating point doesn't really work in indexing so make sure you use integer division when you do that it is a mistake a lot of people make in these type of problems of course I'm, I kind of like made this up I'm sure many other people have done this but I thought about it and now to get the other element well we already got this one how do we get the other one well what's the relation in this well we can subtract by one and get the other index so we're not doing nine minus one that's not happening we're using the index so if you're getting confused we're taking the position zero one two three Four. So our two middle elements are at position five and six. We already got the position six. That we already got that. Now we want the other one. So of course, let's name another variable. Let's name it y. And we're gonna take len the length of that again l. Same thing. Integer division two minus one. Of course, we want minus one, and that's our second middle value. Now, if I do this, this will just give me five and six. We want the values, so now we want to do a print statement, right? And we want to take L. We made this kind of thing right here. Take the list, and we. we I already I think I did this in another video now we want to take this and apply X to this so we do that by doing L of so it's gonna be L of X split them by a comma and then we want L of course of the other one which is Y like L of X and L of Y. Now that we have that. So that's done. Now let's move on. So moving on. We have else. Else. Right here. Alright. Else. Now we have. Let's make another variable. So now we're doing the odd value. So else. If it's not even it's going to be odd. That's how numbers work. Let's make another variable. Let's make it n. Now let's try to think about this. 
what I encourage uh, everyone to do is actually solve this in a piece of paper, like you like think about it before writing all of this, like writing the program down. So, um, now of course we want that even. So let's say 14 wasn't here. I'll put the 14 back in a second. But let's say 14, if 14 wasn't here, how would we get this? Well, now we have 11, and that and our um our middle element is only going to be one now one middle element so let's try to find this is six uh, four five one two three four five it appears to be six one two three four five one. yep so our middle element is six obviously because i removed the 14 or whatever number it was, your numbers really don't matter. It's the position that matters. So, 6 is our middle element. It's at, let's check the position. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's at 11. So, if I take 11 and do integer division 2, I'm going to get a decimal. Right? Wrong. It removes the decimal. That's why it's integer division. So, we can actually test this right here. What if I do 11 integer division 2? What will I get? 5. We just got our position. So now we know what to write. So, n is going to be len, like we did in the last one. Integer division 2. It's that easy. And that's it. It doesn't have to equal anything, we're not comparing anything, because we already got the middle value, right? We already got our middle value. Now, this won't apply, we just tested this. You don't even have to do this, because we already know that it was going to equal 5, but we just wanted to make sure, I just wanted to make sure. So, let's move on. Let's write our print statement. Let's print L and then since our variable is n we want to take this list and we want to apply this to this if these certain you know terms or whatever and there we go all right so now we have our code written all right so let, let me put the 14 back and run this let me see what i get see if this thing is working or is it failing nine and six Remember, that's where we had, the reason it's saying 9 and 6 is because first we found out 9, then we found out 6. So, it's the same thing. And then, let's move the 14, make it odd, see if this works. Yes, it does. 6 was our middle element, we got 6. Now, we just confirmed that this program works. We confirm that the program works. So now we know this program worked. Um, yeah. So this was a um, medium level problem. Obviously, I think it's very easy to solve. But let me go ahead and let's just try another problem. Um, I'm going to do that in part two, so watch the next video, it's going to be off part two.